Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ed over at Team Aquascape. Check it out. We got the waterfall running here in Muhammad Forest Preserve. Everything looks incredible down here. I mean, just check that waterfall out. Here's the main entry, pouring concrete right over in here. But look at this, it's gonna lead everybody right up to that spectacular historic bridge and then waterfall, it just draws you in. Once this is planted up, we have lily pockets strategically located throughout the pond, gonna be blooming with water lilies. The back corners are going to get marginal aquatic vegetation, but just look at this view. I love this bridge from the day I saw it. And look at that. You're uh, six, seven feet above water level at this point, so you could get a good view all the way up there on the top. That waterfall, 25 foot tall, 1,000 gallons of water every minute is flowing over that, 60,000 gallons per hour, over 100 tons of stone inside of there. They drop in some more big logs here just to hold everything back, plant it up with some nice vegetation on the backside. The history behind these old stone walls is incredible, so we wanna try to preserve that. So the idea is melding the old with the new. So this is that little turnaround area for wheelchair access. Just check out that waterfall. Massive cascade dropping down. We have that staircase effect over here in the middle. We got this split right over in here. We have a mixture of different things that are happening. We got this big giant log over on that side. My favorite section, the upper reaches over here. And we got that big giant stump. From here, it looks tiny. That thing is over eight feet tall. Pump vault located way over on that side, pumping the water to the appropriate locations. Oh my gosh. I just love when I could see the waterfalls running after I complete a project. It's hard to get it all in on the camera. Almost 60,000 gallons of water coming between that little joint and that. Look how thick that water is. Up on top, we got this big massive flat stone blasting down. A little ripple effect over here, just a little bit of an overflow. This is the section, the little fast moving stream where the waterfall discharges, all this fast rippling area. This is gonna be home to all different types of microorganisms. So little aquatic insects and things like that are gonna live in here just because it recreates the riffle zone and an actual river system. It'll also be planted up with some aquatic vegetation to help soften this. Nothing really big, but it'd be nice to get something over in here in front of that big boulder, maybe some stuff along the edge of that uh, log as well, just to transition and hide up some of this stuff. But because of the steepness of it, be it from a design perspective, if you go to the mountains and you find a big steep waterfall, you typically don't have a lot of aquatic vegetation around it. And the reason, very, very simple, during uh, spring heavy rains, the thaws of the snow, these little steep waterfalls are roaring and they will scour out all the aquatic vegetation along their perimeter. So it's usually very harsh and very rocky, exactly what you see here. As it comes downstream, down into the slower areas, this is where you start to see your aquatic vegetation popping up because it's widening out, the water's slowing down. These back areas, those back water areas are, uh, that's where the vegetation's gonna grow. The really, really fun as well as challenging parts of the project, it was bringing this incredible oak tree over here. So this came in from what, about 100, 200 yards that way, it was dropped down in a storm. When I was talking with Mike and John, they said that they had some logs around and as soon as I saw that thing, I'm like, we have to have it, but it is heavy. Cat 315D out here and it pushed that one to the limit, but it looks phenomenal. I love the transitions. I mean, you have all the cannas and stuff back here. So once those things fill up, I mean, that's just a beautiful backdrop over in that section, creates a completely 
different edge. And the other thing that's important about this from a water quality standpoint, and again, we did have algae bloom, the pond just filled up, so it's gotta cycle itself through here. We wanna have different types of habitats and homes for different species of bacteria and enzymes. There are different types of organisms that are associated with wood versus gravel versus rock, versus sandstone, versus granite. So there's different habitats for each one of those. And as we all know, diversity is key when you talk about a stable, healthy aquatic environment. I want to introduce you to Mike and to John. These are the two masterminds behind the entire project, and uh, we came in to assist, but let's go meet them. So here's John, hey, and here's Mike. What's up, guys? How you doing? <laughs> so this was a fun, fun project. Could you give me a little bit of history on what you had here before, what we're looking at right now? Absolutely. <laughs> the original pond and waterfall was constructed around 1974. It had uh, put in many years of service and mm -hmm. eventually started to show some wear and tear. Uh, we had about a 12-foot vertical waterfall that used to be right here where you see the natural flow. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I uh, started to see some cracks across the face of that and some blowouts of the structure behind it. Finally time to do something about it. You know, years of sedimentation, uh, all the, the tree leaves and everything coming in here decomposing, everything is just piling up in that sand vein. We were losing incredible amounts of water, like okay. almost four inches of water a day. Out of time. You know, the old silt that had been in here, we took over six million pounds of silt out of here. Jeez. Unbelievable. So now once it was all dug out, came in with polypropylene liner to hold water in place. And then how many pounds you were telling me of stone going over everything? One and a half million pounds of stone that we brought in. Wow. So over here we have the wetland filter. So this is going to be responsible for water quality. Recently filled up with water. We had a little bit of an algae bloom. So hopefully that stuff is dying off. We can see a lot of this foam on the surface of the pond. It's actually being drawn into the intake by uh, on that far side, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. I brought down with me today some bacterial treatments so we could start adding that material into the wetland filter and into the pump area to start seeding this with beneficial bacteria and enzymes, which which will help to break down and detoxify the water. I could already see tons of dragonflies flying around, which is a great sign. They're an incredible indicator species, so they cannot live in polluted water systems, so that means we have good, healthy water here. They're gonna start laying eggs. They can't wait to be uh, here in the pond and with all the new habitat that's been created for uh, for frogs, turtles, and snakes, and like you said, dragonflies, it's just gonna be uh, a great opportunity uh, for, for habitat here at the Forest Preserve. This is a fantastic upgrade for us. The original had served us well for so many years, but That's awesome. you know, we couldn't have done it without you, Ed, and couldn't say enough about the help that you guys have given us. And anytime we had a question, always been able to help us. It was an honor for us to be a part of it. We love to work within the community. So, I mean, we're an Illinois company. We want to try to give back. We want to help as much as we can. And I tell you what, it's a home run. <laughs> Here's the discharge point for our six inch pipe. Kind of tucked it in behind this big massive boulder so you can't see that from the main viewing area. So these little tricks, uh, with that pipe we don't have a backflow preventer on it so I wanted it going up and over the liner. The other thing is, you see how that's just blasting all that water down? Part of the filtration system. You could also see down in here, you're gonna see lots of bubbles and foam on the surface. Algae uh, treatment has been done. The algae is dying off, but now it's starting to oxidize. So adding in lots of dissolved oxygen is critical. All of these waterfalls are an important component of the filtration. Discharging it behind that rock, but then splitting it, having a rock over here so you don't have just a hot spot of water coming out. 
it actually slows it down, backs up a little bit, and that water rips around all that stuff, creating all that beautiful uh, riffle action. This really cool craggy stone over here, I remember we were setting that a few weeks ago, just had a beautiful face on it. The action of the water going over that thing is unbelievable. Then we have this stump over in here, creating that nice little clean sheet. Big giant boulders, everything really, really, really came together on this project. I am loving it. All of this will be planted up, vegetation. Then this just got running. They're working on walkways, pouring concrete. They got forms over in here, so trying to finish everything up. And this looks like you're walking through the mountains somewhere. And I tell you what, I definitely spend a lot of time out in the mountains in the natural areas around the world. And that's where we get our inspiration from. Well, as much as I would like to stay here and continue doing stuff out here, it's time for me to go head on home. Uh, this has been an incredible project. I hope you've been following along from the very beginning. Uh, this has been a four part series, waterfalls going. We'll probably still come back in the future once the rest of the uh, landscaping, the hardscaping and all that stuff is complete just to get that finished stuff. Once the fish get in here, the aquatic plants, it's gonna be insane. So again, it's been a fun project. Hope you'd enjoy it. See you on the next project.